do it down there closer to the screw, I think. That way it'll give me a better chance of getting getting it in there. Alright, now you go there. You can wait there until you need it again in a minute. Okay. Just had a flash of in my mind of uh, welding that together. Wouldn't that be a good idea? It might be fun. Wouldn't be fun to get the welder out. It's <laughs> put away, put behind a bunch of stuff. <coughs> That'd teach it, wouldn't it? <coughs> now I realize. I wonder if you know that's plastic. <laughs> you don't have to overdo it. Now I think I'm gonna do. Well, let's just see if it goes first. If it doesn't go, then I'll give it the treatment. This one, uh, well, this one may line up just fine because it doesn't have, uh, actually, I'm going to hook up these door screws because the door wires are just going to be in the way when they're not hooked up. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. I just get a bad feeling when I try to put those in there because I do remember dropping them more than once trying to do that. Okay, thank you, Lord. That was hard when I went for a confused boy like me. Now, I am going to have to put something in there, and I don't think I even want to run it until I do. Come it, this uh, bag is just not wanting to. If I put it above my belt, then it wants. It, it, well, let's try it. It keeps pulling my pants down, and I've got it. Well, it keeps getting so low. I think it is still pulling my pants down, but if it's above my belt, I think that happens even more. Let's try that. I suppose I could make this bag a little tighter and put it above my belt. It's pretty loose, of course. Then it'd be bothering me, uncomfortable. But, uh, okay. Let's kind of roll this. Yeah. Can't remember which way it rolls. Okay. Seems good. It's just that now, what else? Door switch is on. Those screws are on, but now I need to screw on the bottom. I think I'll just do one on either side. I've got some self-tapping sheet metal screws that should take care of that. There. What I'm wondering is do I need really need to lay it all the way on the other side? or I think I'll take my cord loose. Uh, so that if, you know, I may lay it all the way back. <clears throat> because getting down on the floor is kill. Yeah, I'm too wore out already to, to do that. Get down on the floor again, just, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to do anything like that anyway. So, in that position. So, let's see. I think. I'm just, more this way. Yeah. I think I, there's nothing on the back that's going to get ruined. I don't think. And uh, so I don't see why I can't do it. I wish I could just leave it kind of halfway. I guess I could if I. Well, it's, it'll probably end up falling on me. So I'm going to go all the way. I guess that's a good place. Oh yeah, that's a good place because because how's everything looking there? I don't think it would sh be able to shift, you know, all the way off or anything. 
the drum is what I'm thinking of. Okay, so uh, should have gave a good look at the at the flange. I don't know where I'm going to hit stuff now for sure. I guess that's fine. It's right in the picture and the way I go around at the side it's got my knees in the picture. <laughs> okay, so uh nose is starting to run like crazy. Get something to remedy that with. Always keep some paper towels in your pocket. Especially if your nose runs a lot. And don't keep those cheap old kind that fall apart. I like bounty, except for... Well, I do. You know, bounty used to be the quicker picker upper and it used to be the softest paper towels you could buy and they were also strong and somewhere along the last 20 years they started making them out of sandpaper and so i don't even care if they're a quicker picker upper now but they're better than like well for instance the walmart ones that we've gotten some lately when they're out of bounty uh, they feel the same. They're just as rough as a bounty, but they tear holes in them before you can use them. Can't clean your glasses with them. They just get a hole when you're trying to rub your glasses. <sighs> I use Windex, and so as soon as you get them wet. And there are other brands like Viva. That's even I've got some Viva toilet paper there because I couldn't get anything else. I used one th good thing about all these shortages. Uh, I never really got cotton nail toilet paper. I always liked uh, Charmin and uh, didn't like all the other off brands, you know. And I'm 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 getting cotton ale all the time now, except for when they're out of it. Uh, I really like it now, and uh, I like it better. And the uh, Walmart Great Value Strong, same some of it there, and it's septic safe, which don't matter here where we live, but did when I used to live out in the country. You, uh, uh, it's okay too. It's not bad. I still like the cottonelle better. But, uh, I'm missing. Nothing worse than having your pants drive you crazy and always trying to come off. And I can't tighten my belt anymore. I got a brand new belt. My other one broke. And, uh, I did have a, a looser and a tighter, or a medium and a tight, on the on the old one, but it it broke and I, the uh, the sewing came undone that holds the buckle on. And I've sewed it up once a few years ago, and I liked it. Didn't get it done back then because I couldn't see, even with magnifying glasses and stuff to do it. And, and I didn't have any like leather sewing thread. You know, you had to use regular thread. So I knew it, it lasted longer than I expected. But this one I like anyway. Unless it'll show up, but so I had to get a little bit longer than I kind of like it. Uh, on these pants, it's not good; it sticks out. But my shorts that I wear all the time, it stops it right there, and it doesn't flop around. I really like the other one was black. I but I was back. I hadn't had a. It was about twenty years. I bought it in two thousand or two thousand and one. That black one. Remember when I last time I got a bunch of clothes, and. uh Anyway, this is brown and it's got a real nice design on it. <clears throat> Gotta have a drink. <sighs> anyway, I poked one hole, the one that, that felt good with my shorts and felt good. And uh, now that I'm outside, you know, moving around so much, it, I need one more tight, tight, a little bit tighter. Okay, I'm trying to think. Yeah, this is where the one clip is. It broke off. This is where the other one is. So... Well, I guess if I go towards the corner, I'll be more likely to hit something. Yeah, right in the corner. 
because I know there's a flange that goes, I can see, yeah, about how deep that is, about an inch, or I'll stay like close to the corner, that's not going to be a problem, won't be any wiring or anything to hit, and I certainly don't want to hit the clip, that's hard stuff, you know, so, uh, get my calipers and see how far down I'm going to want to go. <clears throat> Start with the one that matters, this one here. Yeah, this is, uh, it could be... seven hundred and four feet, like three quarter inch, that's what I was thinking. Could be even more, but I'm going to stay within that three quarter inch. And... We need, from where I'm going to be, let's see... To get through it, what's the best way to do that? There we go. From where I plan on being to get through it, I'm going to have to be at least, there we go, at least somewhere in that range. So we're talking an inch and a quarter. Maybe an inch will do it. I'll, let's, let me go see what I got. If I don't have, I don't remember how long those ones I was talking about, the ones I think will be just dry. Or, let me go ahead and go around here, and I'll have to put my hand up so I can see how far I am from... There we go, that's good. I mean, you're not really going to be able to see, but at least it's better than... Oh, the ones I want are all under all that stuff. Let's look over here and some of my random stuff first. The brand new ones that I was thinking of are over there. <clears throat> Gonna have to start setting things out of the way here. Let's see. I know I have some regular sheet metal. Oh, I think there they are. Maybe. Yeah, I have some sheet metal ones. Oh, yeah. That'll probably do. They're longer. Okay. Put you right there. Put you right there. And... Will that fit in there? Yeah, that works. Okay, oh, let me measure them before I head that way. Oh yeah, oh that's the wrong, that's the one I was thinking. I got some even longer that have, uh, oh they have one of those combination hex and, but the ones I got here that I was first thinking of using, I think they're they're over an inch and a quarter, so that should be good. They're not really big in di quite as big in diameter as the other ones, but yeah, they're like an inch forty th uh, four hundred thousandths. So I'm just gonna bring this over there. Oh, I gotta get. I'm gonna have to go in the house and get my drill. I kept looking at that my, my driver and drill kit, and <laughs> I thought. I don't, I shouldn't be needing that. <laughs> but I looked at it over and over, like, you know, when I was trying to think of stuff that I, sh I need to get. And I kind of hate to use that driver at night. This early in the morning, night, it's still night. <laughs> Let's see, which side do I want it? Oh, that's the tool side, okay. This, this light stand is just not good for this, really. That's about right, okay. But, uh, yeah, you can drive these. They don't have the, uh, like, this is the first ones I ever learned. They're just regular old, like, number 10 sheet metal screws. First ones I ever learned to drive with. I think I'll drill a hole, though. This is pretty hard stuff. Yeah, that's plenty long there. And if they, uh, that one has a bit on it. Is it long enough? 
Might be. I think I'm going to try that one first because it actually has a bit on it. I don't really want to pour these out on, lose them in this door. Ah, let me go get one of my special tools. There we go. It's a special tool. You'll see in a minute. Okay. Oh, there's one that I didn't know I had, but it's too short. If I have two of these, they're like, I guess you'd call them panhead. See how long they really are. They're uh, something I saved. I didn't buy those. But being smaller is okay, really, because uh, well, the threads only go to there. I think that's an inch. And 750 thousandths. I don't know if that's enough. I don't. That's very borderline of hitting, going through and hitting. Yeah, and that big round, it looks nice, but who's going to be looking at that anyway? Uh, I can drill the hole with, they're smaller in diameter, I think, than those other ones. I can drill them a hole with uh, a drill bit. Not a problem. What's this one? Yeah, it's 752. Okay. So I guess the first ones I grabbed are the ones to use. Oh, there's something with a drill bit on it. What are they? They're a little longer. The drill bit makes it have a less... Um, that's 860, 50. Let's see. But you got to get up here far enough. That might make it. I'll try that because it has a drill bit on it. Because I see two of them there. Well, there's three. If it doesn't grab, then I'll pull it out and use the... Uh... Oh, yeah, I've got several of them. So I'll just leave that sitting there, I guess. Well, it's always good to have a couple of extras, and then I can put these other ones, I don't know. I was going to put the other ones away is what I was going to do. But then I'll end up needing them, having to dump it all back out again. Let's do it. This thing should be sturdy enough to let me do my work without a problem. Okay, I have to go back in the house. And get my uh, checking the Bluetooth connection. Get my drill. It's in the house. Okay, let's see if we still have. So I've got my quarter inch impact in my drill. And the impact will drill holes, but uh, the drill really does do better on that. And the drill, we've got it, I've had it for years, 18. It's going. It's 20 volt now, but it was, it was an 18 volt DeWalt. It's uh Anyway, what I'm trying to get at is it's more controllable when you need to stop it before you mess something up, you know. And this makes a lot of noise with that hammering. No matter what you're doing, it's hammering and making noise. But for stuff that's hard to drive, it's the best thing I've ever used. Other than, well, for driving. And I just got it back in the summer. But uh, what got me to do it is when we did our, put a new bathtub in in the bathroom we borrowed my brother-in-law's little set from harbor freight and uh it was they were they were you know they did real good but 
This the wall's more powerful. Well, I watched a whole lot of videos to decide which one I thought I wanted to get, you know. Not set there's set screws here for these little drills. And the cap came off of that. And I saw it. It luckily got caught by the magnet on this Phillips. I've got see I've got the original set. That's probably the original, and then I've got a new one. Neither one of them will stay in that spot anymore. That one's all been out of shape. That's why it don't stay. Okay, I wonder if there's something. No, nothing else I could put in there. Everything falls out when I open it. Let's see, where's my calipers? I laid them down like I didn't need them anymore. I need to know what size of drill to get. I was thinking I'd get out a regular drill, but I've got these... I don't really need a quick, I, mean, I don't want to use these quick chains if I don't want to break a good something that, that good, that expensive. I use these on, they're, it's good to use them on wood because you don't have to worry so much about breaking them. These are hex and they can go on these quick changers here. So why did I open it? I don't need uh, anything out of there. Okay, you have to hurry to shut it. Okay, now, so there's no, there's drivers over there, but no drills, so. Go get that other drill set. Well, my good steel drilling drills are hard, hard to get to. So I'm gonna not get them out right now. But I do need the drivers. I'll use that driver. It's, I don't think it has the right size. Okay. So which one, I'll just wait and see which one I want when I get to it. I'm trying to think. Got, that's, that's pretty sad when you got too many toys and you don't know which one to play with. Isn't it? Uh, uh, there we go. Now. Uh, oh yeah, what size do I need? Now these are bigger around than those others, so I don't get to switch. I don't think I'll need to though. Hundred and sixty. That's the shank of this screw. Hundred and sixty. Check it one more time. Well, let's check the drill bit itself. Oh, these are drills. Hundred and sixty. I don't need a drill bit. Why are you looking for drill bits, Don? Okay, I just needed the driver. That's all you need. Okay, these I think these drivers might grab better than that other one I was, I was thinking that was in that other kit that I keep in the house. Oh, I've got, looks like I got millimeters and inches too. Now that one fits pretty good, I think. I actually don't remember which ones of these grab better. The light. Ah. Can't see it or read. even with that I can't read it. There we go. Now that's better. It's kind of funny because sometimes those millimeter ones actually. It's like, like these are. Well, I don't know if they're angled really. I think they are. And they don't. They just don't grab this. The deal is good. Even you know, like some of these are so close to the same size. I don't think some of the heads are tapered. Is what I was. These hex heads, some of them are tapered. That's what I was getting at. I thought I had a driver in here. Maybe I took it out and put it in there because, you know, to have it quick and quickly grabbable for the keep it with this stuff. Yeah, I think I had one just lay 